<laughs> all right. Okay, so when uh, when did all of this start? The end of October, beginning of November, probably last year. Last year, so it's been going on for about a year. Was yes. there anything like traumatic that happened maybe to you or to your family? You said that your friend... Um, a friend passed away over the summer. Yeah. But we started logging, uh, select logging. We also started working on the house. Okay. Um, uh, we do anything else, Jay? It's just mm -hmm. those two things. Three. Yeah. So... Bob. Yeah, well, Bob was over the summer. It was still causing some issues, yeah. you know, for me. Right. Because well, it was by suicide. Yes. It was, yeah, he had killed himself. Okay. That's awful. Um, it is. So, since then... Um, and and be right before that, just to intervene, he's always said that he can kind of feel things. Mm -hmm. And... I never could, so I would always, like, if we'd go places and be like, could you feel anything? Do you see anything? Right. Because I don't do that kind of things. And he said, no, oddly, it's it's very quiet. You know, you don't have anything to worry about. And then shortly after that, it was like the bottom fell out. Yeah. Yeah. With okay. everything that started happening. Yeah, but I did feel the, I, the fact the very first, when it happened here, I, I knew it happened. Yeah. It, it happened, I knew exactly when it happened. Yeah. Um, there was a little boy standing beside the lathe. When I was running the lathe, I had just bought the, um, uh, the wood stove. And I was cleaning the mm -hmm. pieces of the wood stove on the lathe. Mm -hmm. And I was polishing them up. And there was a little boy that was standing between the sizes of my kids standing off to the right of me. I could see it out of the corner of my eye. Mm -hmm. And he was standing there watching me. Yeah. And I thought it was one of my boys. And I, I was telling him to get to bed or get get right. out of way, get away from there because Landon has a habit of putting his finger in the gearing because mm -hmm. it was new to him. Yeah. The yeah, way yeah, it yeah. was. And uh, anyways, uh, but the, the one thing that was odd is the kid had clothing on from a different period. Okay. Like from the Andy Griffith show period. Okay. <laughs> so like 40s, 50s type? Or 50s, 50s probably. 50s. Yeah. yeah. So, um... Were you all... Obviously you weren't the original owners of the house, but... No. The people who owned it before you, do you know if they were the original owners? They, they was were not. not. They were not. Okay. So, potentially, you know, were there... With the third... There could have been multiple families coming through here, and actually, there's been a, another house here. Another house. Yes, there was a house tore. He was here and tore down and then rebuilt. Really? Yes. Because a lot of the times with hauntings, um, what you'll see is not necessarily the structure; it's the land. Um, the land can can cause the haunting itself. Um, you had said also that you, you like to antique. Oh, yes. Um, you know, I love doing that. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times with the antiquing, you uh, you can bring stuff home with you. Um, you know, when it I... It was like that wood stove. You got it from somebody... It was from somebody that had passed, right? No, no. The guy was still living. His mother had bought it for him. Um, but she had passed. Somebody but, had passed. But she bought it for him. Right. And his wife, you know, was yeah. a, you know, as a present present. Right. So there was sentimental attachment to it. And but they were still living. Yeah. But not okay. the mother. But the mother wasn't. Okay. But she bought it as a gift for him. Yeah. So how do you feel um, in the home? Are, are you scared? Or are you at, intimidated? Do you at night? I I have a hard time sleeping because the noises. Yeah. You know, what what was that the kids? Was it sure. you know, was somebody breaking in? Sure. Because it sounds so real when it's happening. Yeah. The footsteps. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, it it's hard to determine ghost versus somebody in your house. Uh yep. I I I, I have a first hand experience of that. <laughs> um 
it's kind of funny when um, the house that I lived in before I went to the Army, um, it was in the historic area of where I live. And um, one night, uh, me and the kids, we had been playing with uh, Lincoln Logs. I'm sure you remember those. Kids probably might not know what those are. But um, we had built these little cabins um, in, in the living room. And I heard uh, one of the toys, um, the battery-powered toys, going off. So I get up, I'm like, all right, you know, the kids are up, you know, playing with their toys. And I uh, walk down the hallway and I hear pitter-patter, you know, little feet running across the ground. And then the Lincoln logs go flying across the room and hit me in the feet. And um, so I'm like, you know, you all need to get back to bed. I turn the lights on and there's nobody there. I walk back down the hallway with, uh, where the kids' rooms are and they're both sound asleep in their beds. So, I mean, this is something that, you know, that happened right in front of me. And it was kind of like, you're in a different reality, you know, you're just kind of like, is this really happening? Um, another night, um, I heard a uh, boot like boots walking across the the deck outside and um i was <laughs> i like i was certain that uh somebody was on, on the porch so i get my gun i walk outside and i'm like hey i'm armed you need to announce yourself right now or you're gonna get shot i don't know who you are what you're doing on this property but you need to announce yourself and the footsteps moved from the porch into the yard that had leaves in it so i hear the leaves rustling around i'm like announce yourself now announce yourself now the footsteps start coming towards me and i'm yelling announce yourself announce yourself and the footsteps come at me like faster I start shooting because I thought I was being attacked. I thought somebody was out there. And um, yeah, there was nobody there. <laughs> so the neighbors thought, <laughs> the, the neighbors weren't like close, you know, they were a good distance away. I mean, it was safe to fire a gun where I was, but um, you know, it was horrifying. It was, it was unnerving. Yeah. Um, another time I was, uh, sitting on my couch and um, I was in the house alone and um, I it was kind of kind of like this set up basically uh, except for I didn't have stairs it was just the hallway um, and at the end of the hallway I see this black mass um, it's human shaped standing at the end of the hallway and so I jump up and I'm going to fight somebody. I just charged down the hallway at this thing. And by the time I got to the end of the hallway, there was nothing there other than just being like freezing cold. Um, so that's kind of how I ended up getting into the paranormal um, because uh, of the issues that happened, you know, in my home. Because I want to experience that again. Like I, I want to see it. You know, I, I want to document it, like as scary as it might be. Um, in reality, from what I've gathered, the entities, whether they be demonic or, and I can tell you, like, from being in this house, um, I've been in demonic haunted places. I, I don't feel like there's a de demonic uh, type presence here. Um, I, I feel like it's, um, it's definitely like a human, uh, spirit that, that I feel like is here. Um, oh, it's intelligent. Right. A lot of the times that the human spirits, um, are a lot more intelligent than the demonic spirits because the demonic spirits only have one thing on their mind and that's to hurt you, you know? Um, so with that being said, does anybody have any, um, 
do you ever get sad out of nowhere? Um, just I get, unexplained like depression. I, get, I have tons of depression. Sure. Yeah. Um, but a lot of that's with my medical. Right. But I think my medical was brought on a lot by this thing. Yeah. So. What do you feel like? Do you feel like it's demonic or do you feel like it's... I did feel it yeah. was demonic and now I feel it's it's hidden. Yeah. I feel whatever it is is backed up. Okay. Um, it's let off. It, yeah. It, at one time, yes, I did. Yeah. Um, there was even some red eyes involved at one time. You know, really? Yeah, there was, it was nasty at one time. Yeah. Well, they can't hide, um, you know. I, I, to me, uh, like I said before, you know, I'm not the greatest at, at feeling, you know, type things. Larry and Brent's, Brent's pretty good with that. Um, I, I, me, I'm more of a, I have to see it, smell it, touch it, you know. It, it's got to scratch me. It's got to do... Well, like I told you before, you know. it's backed off now. Yeah. It has backed yeah. off. We burn sage. We we play Christian music day right. in day out. Right. We uh, we 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 pray uh, all the time. We you know we 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 do a lot of things to keep yeah. it at bay. And um, well, that's great. I mean, you that's, know, and that's, it's and it's working. Yeah. It is working. Yeah. But there's just that. Just can't yeah. fully get it to go away. Yeah, there's that sure. one little, every little once in a while it jumps out and scares the crap out of you thing. Sure. Well, there might be multiple spirits or entities here. And you there know? could be. The the idea of... Um, Maybe there's a vortex. So if they're, if they're good, does <laughs> that stuff not help? She gets that on her neck. Something just on my back. straight touched me. Like okay, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So if they're if they're not demonic, does all that stuff still help keep them, or it doesn't really matter unless they're demonic? Um, okay, so that really depends. Um, that stuff absolutely um, will help um, because one, it's going to give you peace of mind. Okay. Right, and it does help, but it's just like, why can't we get it to go away? A lot of the times, they there's some uh, spirits will. Yeah, it got real cold. It did. Where you where you said that my shirt's even cold. Yeah, it did. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. I think he's just saying that it does help. The sure. Okay. The so situation. so your mentality will will drive a lot of. You know how the spirit's gonna be interacting. You know if if you if you are scared, if you feel like that you're in danger all the time, um, whether the the spirit ha hasn't crossed over yet, you know for whatever reason, they can be playing off of that because they get an interaction out of you. Mm -hmm. you, you know that's acknowledgement to them. Um, that's you know validity to them. You know. Um, I, I've, I've seen that um, a lot um, with the what's interesting is, is the the little boy that you say um, that you see typically um, in demonic hauntings the demon will often put yourself as a did you just touch my butt no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like way over here. Is there a cat? No. 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 Did you see the cat? Hmm. No, there ain't no cat, homie. <laughs> I never saw it. We have a lot of issues with my office too. He says. Well, yeah. He right sees. about right about where you've been hanging out there, some problems. I've never <laughs> felt a touch like that. <laughs> You might want to keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. And edit that. <laughs> there has to be a cat. There's no, no. There's there's no cat I'm in allergic. here. There's no cats in the house. Yep. And all the dogs. Something went like this. If I would have saw something ran by, I would have looked down. Well, I was like, standing right in front of the camera. Well, the, look, the, the little boy is a joke. Okay. But he's been gone. 
we thought, we think. We, we took him to Louisiana. <laughs> we yeah. left him at our mom's. <laughs> yeah, we left him at her mom's. He got so, away because of the demon. Yeah. I'm telling you, he left because of the demon. Well, that's good. Oh well, no, um, he left us with the demon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um, <laughs> so anyway, before I was inappropriately touched by your house spirit, that was weird. I have never been touched like that. Well, I told like, her the other day that I felt it was a granny. Yeah. The other day, I felt a granny. Like, it was like I just got goosed. Probably by granny. Like, that's exactly what it felt like. Okay. Um, that threw me off my game here. Okay. Anyway, with the... Uh, typically, uh, the, the, the demons will try to um, imitate, you know, children. Um, because children are non-threatening. You, you know, a, a little boy or a little girl, you know, if you see them, you're more willing to interact with them. You know, you're going to be like, hey, little girl, how can I help you? Right. You know. Okay. So, uh, you, you, you see that a lot. Now, there are um, spirits of children that get stuck and they are held by the d demonic in in entity, um, which... Uh, can be a very sad situation um, because that entity just won't let them go, you know. Um, but your best course of action, really, with these spirits or, or ghosts, you you have to realize that in reality that they cannot hurt you, and that it's okay that they're here. I had at one time. Um, I had an attachment that was really daunting. Just, it was day in and day out, um, a constant knocking and um, like whispering. And it was, I, it, I just felt like I could never get away from it. And it was just never going to end and that I had absolutely no control over over it but it wasn't physically harming me okay and it took me a long time to realize this and, and to be able to accept it but it was to the point where I got to the point where I was just okay with it that I accepted it that it was there and that it wasn't going away and once I did that it actually went away it, it just stopped bothering me. It stopped no, everything. No use now. Yeah. So it, they, it, it really, and I know it's scary to, to turn a corner and see somebody standing there, to see a shadow, you know, to see something that you don't know what it is, you know, um, especially if they like charge at you. I've had them charge at me. Um, it's horrifying. Um, did you show them the the picture that I originally posted with this ad? No.